Hello everyone! For those who don't know me yet, I'm Masha and I welcome you all to my little art studio. In the previous videos, we learned how to paint uh, in an easy way a raccoon, some flowers and a night landscape. Ah, and also remember about the invitation to take part in the online exhibition. Some people have already sent their drawings, which are absolutely lovely. But we will speak about that later. Now, how about drawing a funny little owl? Let's have a look at that. All we need is a marker. I like this one because it is thick, but it has a thin tip. But you can also choose a pen or a pencil. First, we draw a little V shape in the center and a U shape upside down. That's the beak. Then, we draw two big circular shapes to represent the eyes. It is not necessary to make perfect circles. Many owls have some lines around their eyes, like glasses or a mask. So I make a big and open V shape above and I put some feathers on the extremes. I just let my hand go several times to make it look fluffy. Then, I complete the mask drawing lines that surround the eyes. Now that we are done with the face, we continue with the body. We just have to draw a slightly curvy line at each side and place the feet. To make the feet in a simple way, I'm just putting little lines one next to the other, similar to bananas, let's say. After that, I will draw a horizontal branch that passes right where the feet are. You can make any shape you like, and it can be thicker or thinner. At this stage, we can consider our drawing complete or we can continue adding details. I'm going to continue. I'm going to put some marks on the body so that it looks a bit more feathery. And I will also add some texture to the branch by using all the surface of my marker instead of the tip. So that's it! You can modify little details, you can add color if you want, you can modify the shape and size of the eyes, etc. If you follow these easy steps, your owls will always look cute and funny! Hope you had fun and enjoyed the video! Please give a like, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I also encourage you all to send me your drawings or paintings to take part in the online exhibition. Just send them by email. To those who have already done it, congratulations on the great results and thanks a lot for participating. And to all of you, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!